Hi, it's Rob Cornish, and I'd like to share with you a very interesting alternative to what you're looking at now. This is an alternative to the Google search engine. It's called Ecosia, and I first learned about this just a few hours ago this morning as I was starting work. I saw an ad for it. I checked it out and thought, wow, this is really quite something different. Hence, I wanted to let you know about it as well, so you can uh, at least be aware of it, and maybe, like me, um, I've decided to use it for the next month or so just to see how it goes. So it's just a search engine on the face of it like any other search engine, but with one big difference. Let's do a search and I'll explain. So if we do, let's say, live coaching, just any search at all, that's just random, and you can see, just like in Google, there's some ads. So this one's an ad. Uh, well, the top three here are ads. And then also down the right-hand column, we've got some ads as well. Now that's pretty normal. And of course, with a search engine like Google, when you click on those ads, the revenue goes to Google, it goes into their profits and ultimately to their shareholders. Nothing wrong with that, that's fine how any business works. But with Ecosia, 80% of the profits from these ads goes towards planting trees. So if we go up to the top right here on the menu and how Ecosia works, I'm not going to read all of this out because you can check it out yourself, but this is quite interesting, I think. So over 38 million trees planted, over 7 million users. That's pretty small, of course, compared to Google. In fact, it's probably tiny, you could say. But still, 6.6 .6 million euros invested in the trees. Oh, what's that in dollars? Maybe five and a half million dollars, something like that, perhaps. But this is quite interesting as well. 0.2 of a euro to plant a tree. Now, elsewhere, if you read uh, on this page, or I think actually um, about us as well, it explains that on average, it all works out that every 40 searches that are done on Ecosia, a, a, they can pay for one tree. So that's a really interesting thing to keep in mind. So every every 40th search, there's a new tree. Not into shareholders' profit, uh, profits or dividends or anything like that, but back into trees. So I just think this is a really interesting idea. And it's a good excuse to just try something else. So that's why I'm going to try it over the next four weeks as my default search engine. I've reset my home page and this is where I'm going to be doing my searches. My instinct is that, do you know what? I think, although in the early days, Google had a head start uh, when it came on the scene and it was miles better than any other search engine and it's become dominant, I've got a strong feeling right now that it's probably just pretty much the same as any other search engine like um, Ask or Yahoo or Bing, which actually partner with Ecosia. So let's find out. I'm going to try this and um, see whether it's better or worse than Google, how I like it. And the second thing is, I think that if, you, if I think about it, it seems I'm absolutely addicted to Google because I do I've been doing all my searches on Google. I use Gmail, Google Calendar. I use things like YouTube, of course, owned by Google. The browser that you're looking at right now, that's Google Chrome. So, you know, it won't do me any harm just to peel away from Google for searches and try something else. And if we can get a few trees planted as well, well, that sounds good. So if you'd like to try this as well, it's ecosia.org. You'll find it. There's loads of stuff online about it. There's videos you can watch. Check out these pages as well. Take you five minutes to get your head around it, I think. And, um, you know, maybe give it a try like I'm doing. I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know what you think. If you're using this already or you've got any thoughts on it whatsoever, I'd love to hear. I'll reply personally to you in the comments on the blog. Take care for now. Have a great weekend.